Hi guys, I'm Lada from Crocoblock. I've got something engaging for you today. I guess you already know how to create metafields using our Jet Engine plugin. Today we're gonna take things to the next level and look at how we can add our own custom controls and columns for creating a new related item. But before we start, please make sure to be subscribed and click the notification bell to help grow our channel. In this video we will create custom controls. Custom controls can be custom fields, selectors, number boxes, etc. In our case it will be a simple number field, media and a checkbox field type. But we will not do it with the help of plugins as we are used to. We will create them from scratch. You may wonder why we would do it. Well, we want to add some additional functionality to the relation items pop-up. To do it, we're gonna add several PHP hooks to the theme functions file. By this, we'll add new fields to the add new pop-up for quick customization, besides the given title field. In the second part of the video, we will add custom columns to the related items interface. We will do it with the help of hooks as well. In this case, you can add any columns you'd like, with several exceptions. Even if this particular field was not created by us in the step 1, you can still add a column for it. We will add the field with one object. It can be a text, number or media field. Basically, it's the field that doesn't accept multiple options. Please pay attention that only the following field types are supported. Here they are. Text, Select, Radio, Checkbox, Media, Date, Time, Text Area, and Daytime Local. But first things first, please make a backup of your website. It's my sincere recommendation, and it should be number one rule for you, especially if it's a production website. I will link our tutorial on how to backup if you're a newbie and never done it before, ok? What we do next? You're supposed to have two CPTs, or a CPT and taxonomy, for example, with created relations between them. I'm using a job board template. I have two CPTs, companies and jobs. We need to check our relation settings first. As you can see, companies is a parent in my case, and I'm gonna add children jobs to them. In the settings, the following two options should be enabled because we have to be able to create new posts and add them as children or parents in one move. Save it, and now we're good to go. Head to the WordPress dashboard, Appearance, Theme Editor. Open the Theme Functions tab of your currently active WordPress theme. And then you copy and paste the following code. You will find it in the link in the description to this video, or in our written tutorial. This code adds the additional field to the pop-up, and this one saves the data. Let's have a closer look at all the components. We can see that we add filter for the post type. The hook can be changed depending on the data type. Here is one for the terms, and this one is for users. In this tutorial, we stick to the post type. This value stands for the post type you want to add additional fields to. As I already showed, in my case it's a child CPT, jobs vacancies, since I will edit the parent item by adding the child item state. Duration time is the meta field that was created in the child CPT, and the one you want to see as the additional field in the pop-up. I change it for the salary and you type the name of the field from your CPT. Know that you need to write the key, the slug of the field, not the label. Duration time is the title for the field in the pop-up. Change it for the one you like. Text is a type of field shown in the pop-up while adding a new item. I want to change it for a number, since I have a number field, but in this case it's not a big deal, you can leave it as text. The data output will not be changed. For add action part, we need to do the same. 
hit the update file button and we proceed to the parent post. Hover over any post and click Edit. Scroll down to the related items and click Add New. We see the salary field I have added. Let's fill it. Now let's push Edit to check if the data has been saved in the field. And it actually has. To output these fields in the pop-up, use one of the following values. Text, media, date, time, text area, or date time local. You know, we can use even media field. Let's try. We need to go to the theme editor to functions PHP file. We change type for media and change the name of the field. Don't forget to update file. And head to the parent post. Let's go to Crocoblock. Add new job. Yes, that's the highly demanded job in Crocoblock to make our clients happy. And select the media file. Let's say the hiring company logo. And that's it. There is also a possibility to add fields that contain several components. You can add checkbox, select, and radio fields with similar code. For instance, let's add the checkbox field. Go to the WordPress dashboard, Appearance, Theme Editor, open the Theme Functions tab. I write the comment at first just to remember what this code does. You can do it as well if it helps you. Add the following code. And let's check the code components. We added a hook that can be changed depending on the source. Tour is the name of the post type. I changed it for jobs vacancies. Included in the checkbox field, in my case it's called includes. Included with the capital I is the title for the field you want to see in the pop-up. I will leave it the same. Field type is checkbox. Remember the previous time when we had a number or a text field, I told you it's not a big deal. I hope you do. In this case, it's really a big deal. You should write only a checkbox in the type. Nothing else will work for you if you have a checkbox field in your CPT. And in the array you see the checkbox values and the labels you will see in the pop-up. I want to rearrange them a bit. Remember that values will be saved in the database. So it's always better not to use uppercase letters, spaces and special characters. In the label though, you can use whatever you want. The second part of the code saves the data ticked in the checkboxes. Press Update File. There is one more option that should be enabled to save the values from the checkbox field. Go to Jet Engine, Post Types and open the child CPT by pressing the Edit button. Scroll down to the Meta Fields tab and open the needed checkbox field settings. Switch on the Save as Array option and push the Update Post Type button. Let's check it in the post. Open any parent item. Add new. Type the name. I will take these two options. Now press Edit to check if everything has been saved. Yep, the values have been saved successfully. Don't forget that you can also create other field types. Feel free to do it in your projects. And now we will add custom columns to the related items table. First of all, we need to find out the ID of the relation we are working with. To do so, proceed to the Jet Engine. Relations directory and hover over the Edit button. In the left corner of the screen you can see the link and the number at the end is your ID. Or you can press Edit button and see the same number in the page URL. We will use this ID in the code shortly. 
go to WordPress dashboard, Appearance, Theme Editor and open the Theme Functions tab. Copy and paste this code. Please pay attention that the meta field values should be separated with the underscore, not the hyphen. Otherwise, the code will not be saved. Keep it in mind while creating the fields in the CPT. As usually, let's have a look at the code components that should be changed to make this code do its job. We use a hook for the post type that can be changed for the one for terms or users. At first, you need to change the relation ID. Mine is 85. Child object is a relation object we want to add a custom column to. Change it into the parent object if you are going to add columns to the table that displays parent items. Since I add child items, I'm not gonna change it. Duration time is a column identifier. It's the field you will see in the column. I change it for the salary field. Duration time is a visual column title. I will change it as well. Also, change the names of all the variables as I'm currently doing. Not set is a value returned once the meta field is left empty. I leave it as it is. You can change it if you'd like. Move to the parent object post. Let's add a new related item. I will leave the salary field empty. Not set. That's the value we set if it's empty. Let's edit the child post. I fill the salary field and save it. Return to the parent item and reload the page. That's it, guys. Mind that codes mentioned in the article can cooperate or work separately. It means you can add the field to the pop-up, but not display it in the custom column. And you can display the field in the custom column, but not add it in the pop-up. Once more, make sure you didn't forget to subscribe, leave your comments and thumbs up under this tutorial to make more people find out about this useful feature. See you in the next video! Cheers!